and welcome back to another beautiful day on Atlas. No other name to call it. I don't know what I'm saying. So, I've made a couple changes. One, I decided to go with a large gate here. Um, just because I like the archway better. <laughs> There's literally the only reason. It's still, in my opinion, a bit too big, but I like the fact that there's like an archway entrance. Alright, and I just can't get over not having one. So I've put a large gate in, and apparently I'm starving. Awesome timing game. Why well, couldn't I have been starving five minutes ago when I was running around doing stuff? I don't know. I also had to put in a little wall around these workers here. Not because they kept trying to escape, but because animals kept eating them. <laughs> I had a like a level 112 crocodile come in and eat a couple, and then there was a rattlesnake, and oh, all kinds of issues occurred with them. So, anyway, with that all said, today I have a very simple task. Um, I want to build a wall. <laughs> I need to build a wall so I can start planning the layout. Now, as you can see, I've already built a bunch of walls. I don't know if this is going to be enough. But, you know, we'll see. So, I'm not going to obviously show you the whole wall building process because that is just going to be boring. Um, but I figured I could at least show you my idea. So, I'm thinking, you know, we're going to have a wall about three high. You don't need it to be too high. Because why would you want it any higher than this? So there we go, we go about three high, right? Oops, that doesn't belong there, but I'll put that there for now. Run around here, pick that back up. Oh, now I kind of want to put walls here. Am I actually able to do that? That's a question. Um, let's see. If we go like that, do I have... I can kind of do it? Um, I don't know, guys. I gotta make this decision. I can't wait for your opinion. I have to do it. Okay, so are we going to make... Yeah, we are. Oh, I just doubled my wall usage. Awesome. <laughs> Good work, Smokey. Good bloody work. So we're gonna have a wall that goes around like so. And then we're gonna have like these little battlements. Can I... Yeah, okay, well apparently you're gonna have that, but that's fine. And then we're gonna have the little battlements that go around like so. Now yeah, I don't think... Oh, there is a corner piece. Cobblestone corner. No. There's obsidian. Cobblestone, white stone. That's interesting. Um. Anyway. How do you how do you look when you snap on there? Yeah, you're not too bad. Not perfect, but you know what? It's it's what I've got. It's, it'll do. It'll do. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we're going to have a giant wall that goes all the way around there. Like so. And apparently now it's going to be th twice as thick. So that means that um, the town's going to be a little bit more smaller. But not by much. I mean, it's one extra block. They ain't, they ain't going to matter. Instead of making a three wide road on the outside, I'll just make a two wide road or something. I don't know. But I'm going to get to work putting all of this wall up right now. So, I'll be back in a sec. I've been hard at work, and I've finally managed to complete the wall. At least 90% of it. As we can see, it kind of wraps around. I haven't done that bit there, in between the giraffe antlers. Yeah, you can shake your head when I say that, of course you do. And that bit over there hasn't got a gate in it. But because, the reason I haven't done that bit is because i got to put a large gate in there, and I'm not exactly sure how it's going to line up yet, so I just kind of left that space there for when that happens. But as you can see, I've put little windows underneath the, I don't know, what do you call those, battlements? I think that kind of looks cool. Wraps all the way around, it's very nice, it's very pretty. But now what I've got to do is I need to put, I'm going to put wood ceilings along in that big empty gap there above my head. Um, just as like a footpath thing. I like the whole wood and stone combination look. I've used it many times and I will probably use it many more times in the future. But before we do that, I was thinking how are we going to get up to here? Now, I've, I'm thinking every now and then I want to 
just put together a, a few random staircases just kind of going up something like that and then we go uh, let's go with the ceiling I suppose just make one for now I'm gonna chuck you on that spot there we go like that and then we'll have uh, stairs again can I get you to there we go and then we'll have another stair like so like that and then what I'm thinking is I'm gonna do something I don't know can I can I make this kind of is there a way to make this blend in a little bit like that and then give me a whole bunch of those like so like so and then I can just go back to number five again and like that there we go I mean, it looks a little bit funky there, but whatever. It is what it is. We work with what we've got, right? You don't... I don't want that. I want as many of these guys as I can make at once. Bam, click it. There we go. But yeah. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we're going to do something like that all the way around. And I think it would look nice. Pretty good. And then what we have to also do is railings along the side here. But before we do that... We also have to make a few more decorative things on it, just to make it look like it's got actual support. So let's make f five of these. Sure, why the hell not? Might as well make you know, like ten of these guys while we're at it. Craft ten of those. So I'm thinking, we just do something like that, and then another one here, just so it looks like it's got some sort of support going on. And then as for this wall, we'll turn this into a railing. Uh, like so. And down like that. Yeah, I can kind of dig it. Not a big fan of that big gap there, but there's not much I can do about that. It's just the way it is because of how I've used the triangle pieces to kind of merge that in there. But I'm thinking if I put like one in that corner, I'll probably have to put something along this wall here. I'm not too sure what, where, maybe, hmm. Can we stick something in the corner here? Um, can I get up here please? So like we go like that and then like that, kind of. That do the trick. Let's have a look. Okay, down like so. This one we might just make a straight up, just a normal straight stairwell like so. We come up here, and then we come into this section like that. Right, and then we put in some railings like so. Yeah, I kind of dig that. And we're going to do a few of the, I'm going to go do a few of those around this area. It's going to take me a minute to do that, especially the ceiling part. The stairwells aren't that difficult to do, actually. Now that I've done these ones, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. You're going to need some pillars, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to get to work. I'm going to put all of these down. we put all of these ceilings around here, and then we can have a look at what the wall will look like. I think it... I'm thinking it's going to come out pretty good. Alrighty, I managed to finally get the entire war done and everything, it's looking quite good. I mean, I can't really show you from this angle, so we're going to quickly cheat and fly. And as we can see, everything is very, I don't know, I just realised my character is overweight and now I'm not going to move anywhere anyway. Whoopsie. But, um... As you can see, I, I like the way it looks. I think it does look good. Now, I've got to put lights up here. I've got to make sure I do that. I'll do that at, at the end of the episode. Because I don't want to have another situation where we had at the other base where... Actually, both of them, now that I think about, them, about it. But uh, where I have to scramble to put the lights in afterwards. So that's something that I'm going to have to keep in mind. Is that we're going to have to do later. But for now, there's one other thing I wanted to do... Um, what is it, walk? One other thing I want to do before 
I call this episode here. Wow, I'm gonna be way overweight real quick. Um, is I need to mark out the areas where we want houses, and I'm gonna use a bunch of thatch walls because thatch is extremely cheap and easy to make. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna put down a bunch of thatch walls. I'm gonna use that to mark out the area. Actually, I might just put the corners in. We do like little bits of corners and stuff like that to mark out the area. Just make it very simple. Can I actually move? Oh, that'd be nice. I have to have like 50 in my inventory. Is the max I can carry? Okay. That's good to know. Excuse me, Mr. Giraffe. Giraffe. I need to uh, use you to um, move. I need, to, I need you to store absolutely everything in you. Okay, you can have that, and you can have that for now. And I can move for a, a very short time until I build up. But so what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of mark off each like little building like that. I mean, in the case where like I'll have multiple buildings connected like this, I probably will. This one is what I'm saying. So I'll put that like there, like that's a building separator. And then say like I want to put a straight little side straight here, I'll just do something like that. I think that's what I'm going to do. Like. Something like that. Actually, the side street would probably be too wide, but you get the, the rough idea of what I'm going to do. It's going to take me... No, it shouldn't take me too long to do it, to be honest. It should only... Because it, it, I'm not really going to plan what buildings I'm going to put where. I'm just going to make a bunch of areas. Some of them are going to be small, like here. I might make a bunch of, like, little two, two space wide houses. Yeah, these will probably be houses. Alright, and then... Probably something like that, about three wide. You know, I'm gonna do something like that. I don't know. Let me get to work. Let me do it. Let me actually just do the layout and then show you. I think that's gonna be the easiest way. Alrighty. So it's raining, as always. I like it. That means I don't have to worry about water. But that's not what I came back here to say. I came back here right now to show you that I've kind of lined up the entire town. So this is basically a simple layout of what it's going to look like. I, I don't really know how to describe it. it this is what it's going to look like when it's built, sort of, but with buildings and stuff in there. So, is this going to kill me? Eh, yeah. ow. As we can see, I've kind of built roads and stuff. I've kind of planned it out nice and neatly. So there's like a road that goes around here. You know what? Fly. <laughs> it's easier. So here we go, we've got our main road down the middle, obviously, you know, being big open space in between the city. So I'm thinking you go down here, we'll probably have like shops and stuff will be here, and here and stuff like that. Then if we go down here, whoop, that's a wall. If we go down here, there's like little tiny blocks. If you can see like, I'm pointing at the screen again. Uh, if you can see like the corner bits, uh, do I have, I don't have anything to show you. But like here, this corner bit here. That's like the corner of the buildings. There's like be a little alleyway in between them. Uh, each of these little walls is like separating a separate building kind of thing. So there's like one, the three buildings here, plus another three on the back. So there'll be six buildings in this one building. So these will be like tiny little homes and stuff like that. So that's what I'm thinking. That's my plan. Now I've got big open areas like this, which I want to use like. Like there's like an Eco's Decoration mod, so I can put like a little park or something there. Um, we've got a big spot here, and another one here. I'm thinking one of these big spots eventually will be like a, a church or something, and then the other one will be like a warehouse. We need like a pub, probably two pubs, because this is a relatively big town for Atlas. Then we've got the headquarters for the Illuminati over here, apparently. I don't know what I was doing here. I just kind of did it. Sorry if you can hear a fan. I forgot that I had it on. It's like 40 something degrees today in Sydney and it's hot and I don't like it. So that's like a hundred and something Fahrenheit for Americans out there. Uh, anyway, so that is my plan. Now, what have we got left to do? Well, seeing as this took me a bit of time to put all together, like it took me a couple of hours to do this, I want to see how much materials I've actually gathered in the meantime. 
Now, a good one to start at will probably be one of these wood ones, because I think I stole a bunch of wood out of these earlier. So what do you got? You got 16,000. In about an hour, you got about 16,000. An hour and a half, maybe. What about you? You're at 40,000, so I didn't touch that one. You guys are loud. What are these ones doing? Let's have a look. Now, considering how much stuff I go through, these small amount of materials ain't really that much. I mean, I could blow through all of this in five minutes. But I'm thinking if I got like four of each one or something, it would kind of come in handy. Because they just keep mining it and mining it and mining it forever and ever, and it doesn't appear to stop. I mean, there is no storage limit, so I don't know what, at what point this will cap out. At. But, you know, as we're doing other stuff, they're going to keep mining, so I feel like it's going to come in handy regardless. I don't know. I mean, worst comes to worst, I can just get more stuff and things for it. Now, the final bit in today's episode is I need to just simply get these... Well, i got to get, like, what, one more gateway built and a couple gates. And I probably should work on a path here, because right now I've just got this stairway to come up here. It's not very useful. It is not useful at all. But let's just have a look. Let's see if I've got the actual things I require to make uh, the gateway. Excuse me, jump up and over. Um, not here, I don't think. Let's see, we need a medium stone gateway. I don't remember which one it was, because apparently there's two, and one of them's annoying. So we've got this small one. 66 alloy. Here, can I just... You can have all of this back. Alright. i got a medium gate. Uh, that's... I think that's the broken one. That's the stupid one. Uh, so, medium gate, medium gate, medium gate, medium stone gateway, so we need a bit of stone and some alloy, do I have stone? Well, I know I have stone over there, but do I have stone here? I've got some stone, and we've got some alloy, alright, that was useful, you can at least build a medium gate, bam, excellent, and now what do we need for the medium wood gates, medium stone gates, sorry, we need thatch. Really? Oh, the rain's gone. Yeah, useful thatch. Thatch. I don't want to use that thatch. That's not the good thatch. Do I have any... There we go. Okay. Put this here. We can make one medium stone gate. What do we need for a large gateway? Alloy. How much alloy do we need? We need like 180. 180 alloy. I don't know how much I have left on the galleon. Let's go have a look. Excuse me, guys. Actually, I wonder how much fish have you caught in the meantime? I haven't checked that since I first put you down. So we'll check that in a second. Let's just go check out this dock. The galleon has level. Good for the galleon. Oh, I have burnt through a lot of... A lot of alloy I have burnt through. I think I came here with like nearly 2,000 alloy. <laughs> okay. Eh. Into the ocean. Alright. Oh, look at you, you got very grey hair. Hello, turtle. Uh, fish storage, let's see. Okay, well. <laughs> I don't think fish is going to be an issue anymore. Just saying. Uh, let's kind of eh, get through here. Okay, put you here. Uh, large stone gate. I think that's what I needed. Okay, give me that. Give me that. Alrighty, okay, so, excuse me Mr. Elephant, I know you can't fit through that gate, I don't, don't, you're not an elephant, you're a giraffe, never mind me, just making stupid, stupid, I don't know, errors, not knowing the difference between a giraffe and a elephant, nothing, nothing important, uh, large gate, nope, that's medium gate, large gate, bam, Wah! Big gate. Now, let's just run down all these alleyways. In this nice glitchy town. This is an alley. Yes, it is. Okay, awesome. And then we come through here. Then we go around here. And we're here. Okay. Now we need to put down a medium gateway. 
which is going to immediately snap to the things, which is fine. I don't really like it when you snap to the things, but whatever. Okay, so you're the good one. See the other one? Yeah, see, look at this. This is not a medium gate. That's not a medium gate. That's a large gate. Um, this is the proper one. Thank you. There we go. Ah. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I just got to make it like a little. Oh. Um, I can't make it up. No, I've been locked out of my own town. No, no. There we go. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode, anyway, guys. And now it's a bit of a short one, and I'm locked outside. Um, it's taken me a bit to do all that. It, not much has been accomplished. I kind of feel like I've let you down. That's cool. But that's going to be it for now, guys. If you like the episode, don't forget to leave a like, comment. Don't forget to subscribe to see how the town turns out, if you haven't done that already. And as always, have a good one, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Yeah, I think I'm going to go play Ark for a little bit. My mate's bugging me to do it.